Hey, hope you're well. I am in Stuttgart and I've been invited over to see the guys at Focus. This is where they do all the design and engineering of the e-bikes and regular bikes. I'm really excited to have a look around actually. Behind these doors is their little kind of showroom area where we're gonna take a look at some of the new bikes that have just bought out. I haven't ever ridden one of these, so I'm super excited to check it out. Go and meet a few people behind the brand and hopefully get some rides in. Hello. This is uh, Patrick. You are the what's your what's your job title? Uh, I work in marketing. Marketing. Yeah. Branding. Branding. So you cooking. sign cooking. Cooking. Yeah. Everything. Everything. This is our garage. Uh, maybe a little bit different to your garage at home. Only bikes. Here we have a little lounge area over there. Um, Swift stations. It's uh, a garage of a cyclist, I would say, a dream garage, for us at least. Oh, first of all, is there anything secret that we can take a look at, like 20, 25 bikes? Uh, or prob like that? Probably not. Uh, Otherwise, I'm <laughs> jobless. You've just released some 20, 20 bikes. So you've yeah. got the Thron um, and new Bosch, Bosch Motors. Exactly. Suit. So we're in Stuttgart, and you've got some nice trails in this area, right? Yeah. So if we look out of the garage, there's a street over there. Five minutes and you have perfect trails. Like, really, really good trails. Do you test the bikes up there as well? Of course. So when, yeah, you, yeah. So when you prototype them, you build jo them. Exactly, and go the there trails. with geometry prototypes or sample prototypes. Fabian, Fabian, Fabian Schultz. Fabian, and you are? Engineer for Focus. Engineer, so oh, we can properly geek out in a bit. And we can talk about <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Or maybe I think that's even one of the first um, mass production frames we got from, from our suppliers. And just to show it our, our extra uh, battery, so a double battery concept with Bosch. We have Swift stations over here for winter time training. Uh, we did put an e-bike on the trainer because we went to a climate chamber. We recorded a track on our trails, put it on the trainer, and we could ride the trail on the trainer, on an e-bike, in a climate chamber oh, really? to simulate different temperatures. Mm -hmm. Yep, there you go. there's a video on YouTube. It's the next level. Is it actually? Yeah, okay. we made a video for that. See how successful our channel is if yeah. you don't know it. <laughs> One of the reasons for the visit was to check out the all new 2020 Focus Jam Squared. This is an additional bike to Focus's 2020 lineup and will sit alongside the 2020 Shimano powered bikes. This one has the new Bosch Generation 4 motor with a 625 watt hour battery that is neatly integrated into the underside of the down tube and it's priced at a very reasonable £4,599. It comes with 150mm of travel on the front and the rear with a Fox 34 fork, Fox DPS shock, decent Shimano drivetrain, 29er wheels and a geometry that's trail oriented. It weighs in at 23.5 kilos, a little bit more than the Shimano based version that they still sell, but Focus are aiming this at the aggressive trail rider who wants good battery range. In comparison, the Shimano bike comes with a 378 watt hour internal battery with an additional tech pack that you can bolt onto the frame. Riding the bike, it was immediately apparent that this was a super agile and lively ride on the trails. The geometry is not the longest or slackest by any means, but this really lent itself to these styles of trails that we were riding. Fast, twisty, with some nice little technical sections, the bike was like a little dart moving around really quickly. It gave me quick feedback on what was happening on the ride. The Bosch Gen 4 motor is a good package, it's not the quietest motor, there's a little bit of knocking on the more technical sections that can occur, but for the most part it's not too bad. 
As an overall package, the Bosch Gen 4 is really attractive. It's got good power, size is good, the weight and that 625 watt hour battery make for a really good overall package. Hey guys, hey. You right? Yeah, I'm Martin. Uh, probably the the good side of Patrick, so the other half, I would say the, the better half. <laughs> so he's the, he's the genius mind, he's uh, having all the crazy ideas and I try to structure it. Yeah, Thinker he's... and doer? Uh, probably, yeah, probably. probably yeah, yes. I'm, yeah. Not, I'm not the doer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I, would, I would love to be more creative, but I just can't. I, I just I try hard. But you work together as a team, you complement each other, right? In theory, yes. In theory. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Nice, thank you. Nice, yeah, to, you're meet you. Hey. nice to meet you. What are you doing, by the way? Uh, preparing your meeting. Ah, so, yeah. cool. Yeah, so we have a meeting. You're yeah. here to work. Yeah, oh, yeah. okay, cool. That's what did you that, that wasn't on the uh, memo. <laughs> you said, so I thought we were here just to drink beer and ride bikes. What's this around here? Like this storage? storage? Yeah, no, that's where the machine bikes are. So if you come here on Thursday, you can ride these bikes. Yeah. Well, I genuinely like the fact that you just invite the local communities in to test your bikes. And yeah. it's about giving back, I guess, for exactly. you guys as well. Exactly, yeah. So we think that it's part of our brand identity that riding connects people. And we want to connect to the people, listen, get feedback. I make better bikes at the end. Yeah, that's why we have them. How important are e-bikes to focus compared to regular bikes? And where do you see the market going in the next few years? But it's growing massively. Yeah, right? it's growing massively, and I think it's growing over 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 averagely successful for us. So if we say the average of the industry is 20%, we grow a little bit more in terms of E. The market is not not yet saturated, so it's, there's still growth potential and. Um, we want to follow this trend, but we don't let the history where we come from go. We all cyclists ourselves, um, and therefore we make bikes we like to ride. And of course, even if they are not commercially the most successful products, we want to have them because we believe in it, and we believe in that bikes are an awesome product, and we yeah. still make pure bikes. They make feel good, right? Yeah, of course. Good. And there's there are trails and there are occasions where you rather want to have a regular bike, which is fair enough, and we want to ride it. So that's why we make them. Yeah. But of course, the e-bike is great. It's, it enables people to ride on trails they have never ridden before. Um, it, it, it adds a whole social world to riding, um, which we love most, actually. Um, so we think e-bikes are a great product. Yeah, I totally agree. I think that when you can ride together as friends or a community, yeah. they're the, the best type of rides when you get to share those experiences together. Because yeah. you can go out by yourself and have a great ride, but it's it's about sharing that experience with yeah. somebody else. That's yeah. what makes it really, yeah. really special. Exactly. Riding with friends you've never ridden before, and then the moment you ride down a trail, both are happy, and you know you, you, you sit down with a beer two days later and talk about it. Yeah. How great is that? After talking to the team at Focus, I now understand their E is for everyone slogan. Focus want to make their e-bikes accessible to as many people as possible, with many priced under £4,000, like their new Thron, which is priced at just £3,699 with a new Bosch motor as well as rides every Thursday night where they invite the local community to come in for a ride for free and share a beer afterwards. It was a great couple of days with the guys at Focus and awesome to meet the teams that designed the bikes that we rode. Wow, what an incredible couple of days we've had here with the guys, learned a bit more about how they make and design bikes. We've ridden their local trails. We've seen the 2020 bikes that they've announced recently and they've talked us through all the range. It's been really, really cool. Massive thank you to the guys at Focus. If you can get a demo of one, go down to your local dealer. The trail riding that we've done around here has been just super, super cool. And just to learn a bit more about the company, the guys are super passionate about um, mountain biking and cycling and yeah, they're uh, great riders as well. So it's been just a nice, real cool couple of days. Massive thanks to this man here, 
for flying the drone, <laughs> crashing the drone, <laughs> Once. almost twice, but we rescued it. And a massive thank you for this gentleman here for inviting us over. And uh, we'll catch up with you all soon. Take care.